Once home to peace and prosperity, the city has fallen into the hands of a ruthless and dictatorial mayor. Elected on vague promises of lower taxes and more beer, his true colors began to show immediately upon his inauguration. The mayor's first executive orders were a massive raise on taxes and one-time confiscation of all alcoholic beverages. He stated that the confiscation was so that he could throw the mother of all ragers for his constituents. But in reality, there was only like one keg and a bag of tortilla chips. It was super lame. He used the money and extra booze to fund a private army of goons happy to carry out his every nefarious bidding. Before long, the city had fallen into a state of chaos, but there is still hope. A secretive organization, known only as the Resistance, has been formed to fight back against the mayor's tyrannical leadership. And that is where our tale begins. It is time to embark on your journey into the... Streets of Rogue! Yeah, here we are. So Streets of Rogue is some kind of roguelike game, which I, where I believe part of the gimmick is to actually have like a focus on having a running simulation of some sort going on. It might even be like, I don't know if I'm remembering it correctly or not, but I think this might be the equivalent of like a 0451 roguelike, where there's like a bunch of systems going on and you can interact with them as you want. We'll see. As per usual, I got a code for it, and if you want to check out a link for it, you can go to the description to the Steam page, and there's a link and whatnot. Yeah, it's- I believe this one's already out. Out of early access, even, I think it might be. So you want to join the Resistance, eh? Well, there's something you should know. Our standards for entry are extremely high. I'd offer words of encouragement, but I seriously doubt you're going to get very far. Your first test to move around with them WASDs. You think you can handle this? Holy crap, you did it. Now open that door by pressing the, the interact button, E. No way. This is the fastest anyone's ever gotten there in a long time. I left a little something for you in that chest. Can you figure out what to do next? E. Oh, wow. Oh my god, but... But there is no way that you could possibly figure out what to do with that thing. Do you... Do you... Do I punch? What door? Steel plus locked. Oh, it was lockpick, right? Ta-da! Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy holy crap! Ah! It, that's what I thought was gonna happen. Oh no! He spontaneously exploded. I am so sorry you had to see that. On the plus side, you must be doing pretty well so far for him to get that uh, excited. He had a lot of emotional problems. Anyways, no use moping around. I'll take I'll take over from here. I'm teleporting you some money. Use it to buy a hacking tool from our staff shopkeeper. Fuck your door! I bro Hey, knock it off! Well, I just broke your door, it's no big deal. <laughs> what are you buying? A hacking tool. Costs 30. Single use device that will hack into any computer remotely. Thanks! Access your inventory by pressing Q, then right-click on the hacking tool to select it. Left-click, left-click the computer. Oh, that one over there. So, Q, so Q, U, damn. I did that wrong. Right-click to select it. I'm just doing a little jig over here. Oh, yeah. Open locked doors. Read email. That would be rude. Oh, okay. We have different morals than Adam Jensen, it would appear. Oh, you didn't tell me to knock it off that time. Take this video display. Haha. <laughs> I'm a bad person. He didn't catch me. Haha. <laughs> He'll never know who did it now. Stop putting lampposts in my games. I'm going to send you on a little trial mission to see what it is. Press tab. Go up there, apparently. Destroy generator. Rewards? Uh? Okay, I'm on it. Read email. Why wouldn't you read the emails? They just didn't want to write any emails. And they're like, I got a joke set up for this one. Someone's on guard duty in the building past this fence. See more info on him? Hold space. 
hostile. It looks like he won't be too happy if you, if, uh, to see you. And by the way, if someone's name is Yellow, it means that they own the property. I'm teleporting you a wall bypasser. Try using it from your toolbar. Here's the bouncer. Resistance to damage is small. He's hostile. Well, there we go. Typically, a red door means people don't want you to go uh, to go in there. Sure. What if I did anyway? Meet our staff bouncer. He's uh, he'll be playing the part of bad guy, but he's been instructed not to fight back under any circumstances. Hello, nice to make your acquaintance. Rookie, feel free to wail on him as hard as you can. He's a big guy. He can take it. Um, excuse me, but I don't recall agreeing to this. When you signed your resistance paperwork, perhaps you recall Section 7C, which states members are subject to any and all of the resistance leader's illogical, dangerous, and or statistic whims. Well, I would have read that more carefully, but to be honest, I was kind of impossible. Did you guys really need to write the entire document in Braille? Yes, we're making efforts to be more inclusive and diverse. Look, you have no right to allow some random guy off the street to take shots at me for some sake of some... What'd you call it? Tutorial? We can do whatever we want to you. We're the ones in charge. You know, this is the same sort of ridiculous authoritarian, authoritarian crap that the mayor pulls. Stop being a wimp, you'll be fine. We gave you the sweet hard hat, remember? Fair enough. Fun times. Give him a weapon. Weapon whack. Well, at least it's not the taser. What is that what you said? Oh, you cycle with mouse wheel. Twink. Put a few darts into him. Tranquilize. He's got a key. Aw, sleeping like a baby. By the way, do you see that blue meat on the top of the screen? You'll get skill points, XP, for some, for things like murdering and lockpicking. <laughs> Those two comparable things. I hate, I hate windows. Can I break the window all the way? Nope. So I got 40 out of 1,000 XP. I guess I could also open doors with my hands, I guess. I got a key just for that. Now walk through the red sensor. It's totally safe and not harmful at all. Ow, I thought I could punch it. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't resist. That never gets old. I hope you're okay. Take this bacon cheeseburger. You can quick use your health items pressing F. Ah, not quite enough though. Here's something you can use to deal with the lasers a little more safely. Just use it like you did the other weapons. A rock. Well, there we go. Ow! Okay, I deserve that. I'm going to give you a really cool special ability that you can use to... <laughs> open this door. To use it, press the right mouse button. Wah! The special ability I gave you was cry profusely. I mean, that's not very useful at all, is it? Check out your stats screen. Press R. We're six minutes in, out of six minutes in. Shocking. Oh yeah, special ability. Causes you to cry like a little baby. Serves no purpose except to embarrass you. Okay, okay, seriously, here's a key. Oh, uh, whoops, I just accidentally teleported to the elevator where you first came in. Open your missions screen with tab, then you can click the elevator icon to teleport there. Uh, is it, is it, is it, oh, that entrance? But doof. Once you grab the key, you can use this quick teleport by pressing left control. Under normal circumstances, this will teleport you to important locations. Now destroy that generator to complete your mission. He knows what he did. I still have missions to do. Well, fine. That didn't work very well. <laughs> I don't have any ways to tamper with it. That looks safe. Woo! Mission complete. Aw, you knew to get out of the way. You're no fun. Aw, anyways, sorry for all the hazing. You're a pretty tough cookie. We only lost one person during this exercise, and that's a new record. I guess you can join the resistance now. Congratulations. Speak to the doctor when you get in. We'll see about getting you another bacon cheeseburger. I want a bacon cheeseburger, but for realsies. Step into the elevator to come join us at our home base. 
feel like you'd have a net loss on people at that point, right? <laughs> you just continually lose more people forever. And ever. And ever. Achievement unlocked. Don't skip the tutorial. I was able to skip the tutorial? No one told me. Oh, my, all my weapons are gone. Ah, get out of here. Assert dominance. So I have a few other things to let you know before we send you out to the suicide... Ah, completely achievable mission of taking down the mayor. First, since you're new to this city, you should know that it's built on vertical layers, like lasagna. Slums at the bottom, then the industrial area, then the Fodo Outdoors Park, downtown, and uptown at the top. The only way to get from one level to the next is through elevators. Second, in addition to your primary mission, you'll need to do a bunch of other tasks for us. They'll be highlighted on your map, like that generator you just blew up. You'll need to fix your missions on a, f on a floor before you can travel to the next one. Finish, not fix. Third, resistance leaders like myself will help you out by sending you rewards for completing these missions. But that's about all we can do for you. We're less doers and more idea men. For example, it was my idea to send you out on this mission. So, do me proud, because there might be a promotion in it for me. Fourth, as you may know, the mayor has banned chicken nuggets due to the fact that they were once causing, causing him a mild tummy ache. Chicken nub nuggets have since become a rare and precious commodity. If you can scrounge up some chicken nuggets, we can trade them for things that can help you out. The doctor, thief, and soldier can brew you, brief you a bit more on the nugget situation. Or if you want to head to the city, the elevator is to your north. Good luck to you, young rogue. Oh, and by the way, stay out of the ladies' restroom. That kind of activity embarrasses the resistance more than it does you. Oh, it embarrasses you more? Good news. I can't punch him. I have no way to open it. Can I, I can't do anything to him either. Dang it. I feel so betrayed and underutilized. The person running straight to me? Um, no, yes. Are you patrolling? What are you guys? Oh, those are other resistance leaders? How many leaders are there? Is the mayor dead yet? Can you please hurry up on that? Maybe you'd get more done in this organization if some of you guys actually went around to do things. Ah. Gangster. Crepe. Whoa. Four-player co-op. If you want other people to help you. I didn't read the rest of it. You can do four-player local co-op, I think, and then you can also do online. I can't attack the generator. Can't even use this computer. I'm so limited in my capabilities at the moment. Traits. Bacon cheeseburgers? Oh, uh, sorry. I ate the last one while I was performing a long surgery. What? Unlock traits. I know your body, body better than you do. That sounded weird. These traits will appear when you gain a kill, uh, skill level and complete the current floor. Bullets are bigger than normal? Oh my god, is the currency chicken nuggets? Passed by lasers undetected. Bullets are bigger than normal. Gain extra XP. A single melee hit kills sleeping people instantly. So there's a bunch of little things you can get here. But I don't have any currency. Loadout tutorial. I don't... I'm not really planning on replaying the tutorial right now. Mutators. I can literally hack the whole game. That's how lead I am. Good for you, buddy. Upon death, the player can continue the game from the beginning of the floor. Three continues per run does not currently work in online multiplayer. Rogue vision. Objects not within your character's line of sight are hidden from view. Neat. Zombies ate my game balance. Zombies appear on every level. Let's, uh, let's let's play the actual vanilla game first before I start changing everything. I got some cool gear for you. Oh. So starting items, but I don't have any money. Unlock rewards. I've been able to confiscate some things from the resistance. Once again, things that require currency. How about we get started? Ooh. Pick a character. That's a lot of goddamn characters. Ah, uh, but most of them are restricted. Requirements. Complete slums with a vampire. You can create characters? 
Oh boy. That could be interesting. So we have Slum Dweller, Soldier, Gangster, Gangster, okay, Thief, Hacker, and Doctor. They have different stats. Gain lots of experience, but you earn fewer chicken nuggets on level up. More traits to choose from when you level up. And a random stat gain from... Uh, a random stat gains a point every other level up, starting with level 2. Ooh, so extra bonuses. Seems like a nice straight up, straightforward character. The soldier starts off with a ton of weapons. This person's... Oopsie. I didn't mean to do that. Well, I guess if you click on the same one you're already selecting, even if it's been, like, not even vaguely double-click, it just starts. Which was, um... A surprise? That's not what I meant to do. Hmm. I don't even know how this character works. But there's all that stuff. Uh... Soldier. Modern Warfare. Health gradually regenerates when below 20. Neat. Except I'm, that's that's low health. I have two, three, two, two, three, four on my stats. Endurance, speed, melee, firearms. The kill ammunizer? As a reward for killing, a random gun will receive ammunition to ensure that the cycle of violence continues. Excuse me? The door detonator. Places in a locked door. Ad agitate the door in some way. Bam! Big explosion that can destroy even steel doors. A machine gun. I might as well put that on an, an equipment slot. There's the grenade. Landmine. Combat helmet. Hoorah! The helmet will protect you from everything, from bullets to bird poop. Hoorah! Hooray! Ah. So, small, some, small damage resistance. This thing that will make me get... I click... Right click is unequipped, so right click must also be equipped. Hmm, I must use those ones manually, and these must be automatic or something. Anyway. What are our missions? Since I'm, I'm apparently gonna play as this character now, since I, uh, picked them on accident. So neutralize this dude over here to get reward with a shotgun, and retrieve documents from this doctor. To get three lockpicks. Extra info, spacebar, we know that much. Psycho weapons, we also know that much. I don't know if he has other traits necessarily. Hmm. Let's look around. Still hate lampposts, apparently. Walls are impervious to my punches. Hey, knock it off, says the doctor, who definitely saw me. Embarrassing me. That guy looks mad at me. Is he mad at me? He'll never find me. Never find me. Office drone. Oh, was he just checking out the... Wait, Slum Dweller. Hello. How you doing, Fancy Pants? Assist me for $20. Well, I don't have any money, so no. A lot of office drones in here. I don't have anything to put in here. I don't currently have an objective regarding the office, so let's maybe continue away. What? The fuck? There's a gangster fighting other... Oh. Those are probably two different teams of gangsters, huh? Oh, the uh, blood. Oh. A crepe, crepe and blood, as far as, like, as compared to, like, crip and blood. Okay. Sure. What happens if I open the door? I'm a little afraid to find out. There's a doctor in the video arcade? You could tap on the window, or I could just walk in like a normal person. Oh, that's the doctor. That's just some other dude. It's really interesting to be playing a roguelike where I'm not just playing through levels where everything's attacking me and that's it. There's like a system happening here. Hello? Three days without an accident. Gotta keep it going. Uh... 37% chance of threatening. Or you can bribe for $55. Or bribe with an item. Okay, so if I want to get the item from him, I need to go get money, basically. This threatening does not have a good success chance. What is happening in here? Slum Dweller, Goon. I'm not sure. I bet these guys have money, though. Wait, 
quit. What our gang really needs is a secret handshake. Okay. Well, they're not attacking me on sight, so there's that. I guess I'll just take the money that they left on the ground. Want my help neutralizing someone? I do have a little bit of money now. What's the thief's deal? What you want? I feel like talking to him should have made me lose money somehow. None shall pass without cash. Then you can pass. Alright. Well, I don't have that kind of money. Here's where I'm supposed to kill a dude. Oh, there's a camera in here. Spooky. And a flamethrower. Also normal. <laughs> What's this? ATM machine. I have no reason to use this right now. Yeah, I don't have any money. What are you, crazy? Trash cans? Beer. Take all the beer. There's a beer problem where all the beer's gone in this world, so I should be getting all the beer I can. Neutralize that guy? How hard could it be, right? Boom! Reward. Shotgun. Also, these guys are mad at me. They seem really mad. Unfortunately for them, I have a doorway to use. Ha ha ha. They look- they look like that one, like, aw, you, picture with the dog. The way their eyes just look up. I tried to press R to reload. I don't think you reload in this game. What's that camera looking at? A magical chest full of magical loot? Sure. Or I could just go around this top side. Ow! What the f- Ow! There's pressure plates in here that are traps? I know, what is that? Is that a bear trap? I didn't even know that was- I didn't even know that was a thing. Were those visible before I stepped on them, or was it the surprise? God damn, unexpected traps. Money! Look at all this money I have. I have 44 monies now. There's a turret in here to go with the security cam. There we go. Should be safe now. Let's look at the computer. Oh, he won't do anything with the computer, making it a waste of time. Well, crap. I took out the laser, but why? Why did, it, why did I do such a thing? It goes nowhere. Alright, well the good news is I have some money. I can work with that. Maybe I'll be able to retrieve the item. Also, where's the shotgun? Do I have it on me? I do. Slow, but packs, uh, packs a decidedly tremendous wallop. And I got a doofy little knife. Ooh, 10 health. There we go. And now I'm developing a drinking problem. Hoorah. Hey, you. I can't afford to bribe you still. Frustrating. Bribe with item? That's all he wants? I could give him the shotgun, but then I'll be running out of ammo soon. I have to go find some more money. Maybe steal it. Maybe it'll be in here? With a drug dealer? Hey you, how you doing? Buy from shop. He sells sugar and critter upper and a syringe of unknown contents? Alarming. There we go. Now I've got money. Hey you. I've gone mad with power. I've learned that I don't need to use money for anything. Just kill everyone. At first I really thought he was just gonna give me the thing I wanted because he was like, you know, <laughs> in on it. But apparently you gotta like really fight for it. So I'm like, all right, well, I'll just, I'll just murder. That works. There's a lot of drifters around. Complete all mission. Yeah, I did that. Cause I'm a badass. So it's like a weird multi-level, like, open-world, system-striven roguelike, which is a fun idea. Slums 2, go. What do we have this time? Operate all switches, retrieve a signed baseball from a chest, and retrieve a will from a scientist. So you're a dad and you want to, uh, your money to go to your kid's college fund? Nope. 
It's going to the resistance. Wait, we're gonna t we're gonna co-op this freaking. There's the. Why do you have an M over your head? Mission. Oh, it gives you a mission to rescue the gangster that's blood. I'll do that, I guess. Or die very abruptly trying. That cop doesn't care I'm running around with a gun out, right? I'm just not firing in front of him. That means it's cool. I hope. Where's the rescue guy? Oh, he's in jail. That'll make the jail... The people in jail will be very uh, happy... The people that run the jail will be very happy with me when I rescue him, won't they? Has to be on a locked door specifically. I'm about to break into a police uh, station. This might be the end of this video. <laughs> Get ready. How do you do? Ignore crimes on level $50. Isn't that interesting? You break the law, blah, blah, blah. Does this blood stain on my shirt make me look badass? You see nothing. Take me back to my friend. Escort quest giver. Shit. How mad are you guys about to get when he walks out? It's okay, there's zero mad. Oh shit, he's going back. Don't go back. Don't go back. Chicken nuggets. I got chicken nuggets leveled up. And he's not dead, so there's that. Uh, that was bad news. I didn't expect him to- I thought- I thought he'd run for it, but he's like, I'm gonna go back and fight. I'm like, no, it's the worst idea. You have the worst ideas. What's wrong with you? Quickly. Complete. Five chicken nuggets for my nugget pile. How many chicken nuggets do I have? They're not even on the screen anywhere. They must be somewhere else. Uh, R? I don't see chicken nuggets. That's my money. I'm level two. I don't know. I think your chicken nuggets are a reward you use up after you die, though. Yeah, right? Like, Rogue Legacy, kind of? I'm not really sure. There's a chest in here, though, and I kind of want to see what's in it, so... Uh, place that detonator. Oopsie. You don't see anything. Are you chasing me? You look suspicious like you're chasing me. Go away. That's what you get for using a melee weapon. And uh, so that's my reward for killing an innocent. Uh oh. Go away. Trying to punch me. Have you guys even heard of weapons? Interesting strategy. The accuracy mod increases firearms attribute when using any projectile weapon it's attached to. Neat. I want to take that and pop you on that guy. It's probably the way to go. Retrieve item from scientist. Oh, there's a bouncer outside. And all the, the police... I mean, at this point, it probably doesn't matter if I do crimes, because the police are probably already mad at me. Operate switches. These guys are going to be mad when they see me? Yeah. <laughs> It's a spooky window, what are you gonna do? How do I get in this place? Do you just avoid... I think that guy got robbed. Do you just avoid the camera and then the turret? Ow! Ow! Stop that. When does the... When does the burning end? Hey, money. Found cool stuff. There's the pressure plate, I see it now. So I press my first switch. Second switch. You can't disable any of the security stuff with that? Go away. <laughs> Go away now, please. I would like to not die. Oof, he didn't like that. Boom, 49 money. <laughs> That's how I like to call it. Like yesterday, I was paid 49 money for my services. Oop. First objective down. And it was the furthest one away. Not the best re call, really. Just to retrieve that item. 
I got jumpy thinking those chunks of the floor were pressure plates, but they're just dark outlines. Uh, go away. You ever used a rat as underwear? Underrated! Uh, stay away from me forever, please. That person has a gun. I am concerned. There we go. What, you're not gonna investigate? Mistake. <laughs> you made a mistake, sir. We're gonna have to do something about your fixation on not reading freaking emails. Two down. Just gotta get an item from that dude, which seems guarded, which seems like a problem for me. If I'm really stealthy, maybe the cops won't notice me. Or they'll turn around and notice me right now. They're gonna notice me. Oh boy, everyone noticed me. Oh boy. Okay. Doing. Doing. Could you please hit those mines? Ow, rude. How do the mines go off? There we go. Ooh, the actual guy I needed to kill was in, was in that, me that mess. <laughs> I am lasting way longer than I was expecting to. That's gonna that's gonna wear off though. I have all these unique items in my inventory that I started with. They're all gonna be gone. I don't have a ton of faith in my my ability to continue after that point. Easing out. Pretty sure you can keep finding people that have M's over their name to find more quests, or just loot a bunch of stuff the game didn't tell you to, if you want to. Yeah, boy, you leveled up. Select a new trait for your character. Followers gain extra health, items in shops cost less, or melee attacks do more damage from behind if the victim is not in combat. Ten times if you're not in combat, damn. I guess I, I could buy followers since I haven't been doing anything else with it, as, else with it yet. Well, the stuff. Ah, let's do backstabber. It could be fun to try to actually do stealth attacks. I'm running out of ammo. Switch to a melee weapon and try to sneak up behind people. This is a stealth situation where we have the advantage because I can see everything and they can't. Bombs are dropping, look out. Oh fuck. That's not good news. I got a, I got a, I got a knife equipped now. I'm down to my, my last lockpick. I have a question mark syringe. Who knows what the effect is? I don't know, let's find out. Slow, thanks. That, that mixes well with the bombs. I appreciate that. Ah. Oh, there's another bomb landing. What even is my objective? Destroy? Destroy that. And retrieve that from that. I'm afraid to read the objective because death is happening. And I'm not really sure if the game... Oh, the game does pause, okay. In an incriminating photo. The resistance leaders would never cheat on the spouse. Help this completely truthful narrative prevail. Oh. Oh no. Ah, bombs. And I'm in slow mode. There it goes. War off. The hell's that guy doing? Ah. A loadout omatic. Everyone's freaking out. Oh no. Bombs have landed on this whatever this facility is. It's going it's what's gonna happen now. Oh that guy doesn't want me in here. Oh, oh. That, that 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 camera doesn't want me in here either. <laughs> I don't care though. <laughs> Yes, thank you, and I leveled up. I am strangely into the idea of being rewarded with chicken nuggets for all the things I accomplish. Bombs land inside buildings? What the hell? Don't they have roofs? I mean, they don't seem to visually, but I just was giving it the benefit of the doubt, I suppose. Uh, did the... Oh, the destroyer's up there. For a second there, I thought an objective I was going after got destroyed automatically by the game. I love that everyone's just running away because there's just bombs landing everywhere, including inside buildings. And borrow $50 from the clerk? What? I can just do that? You better pay this back. I won't. <laughs> I super won't. Who dat? <laughs> ah! Bombs. So many bombs. Ah! Destroy and retrieve. 
circuit board. Got a boombox. Uh, yeah, I got a key for that. Use safe combination, I apparently have. Cool. Maybe with a sneaky stealth attack, I'll- Haha! -ha. They'll never get me here. Behind this thing over here. Is that a bomb coming down? Yes, it is. I'm going to die. Oh my god, melee, melee was a mistake. Melee was a grave mistake. Oh, that's a bomb. The good news is I have a health kit, so haha. -ha. That undoes the fact that I was a stupid person who made mistakes. This camera needs to chill. I've already accomplished my goal, so I am leaving. Oh no, you don't like that a guy that's running around on a killing spree in this town? It's a weird reason to freak out. Retrieve item from the bartender who's surrounded by guys that probably want to help him. Crap. Oh, cool, a bomb's landing in the middle of his town. That'll make everyone freak out. What? Where's the soundtrack? Nobody should be freaking out that I'm in here yet. Maybe I can just bribe him or something. Oh, bombs. Stop freaking out, they're just bombs. Hire his protection, no. Bribe with the item or bribe for seven, uh, or he'll run away because there's a bomb landing right here. Buy from shop. He sells alcohol and other related things. Uh. Oh, my, my inventory was open. I'm like, why can't I move? Everyone's running away because of the impending death. Ah. I made a mistake. I don't think anyone's gonna. Oh, there goes that mine. Hmm. Wait, the boombox is an item that does things? Play some jamming tunes to distract your enemies by sending them into a spontaneous dance. Exciting. Ow, 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 ow. Everyone understood. Ow. Okay, everyone immediately understood what just happened. Which is a problem for me. Shit. Uh, oh, bomb. Jesus. Uh, six health. A mini fridge? You puts food in your... Okay, fine. I'm technically not dead yet, and that's... And there's a... In the, or over the, oh, okay. Not right now. I got a four-leaf clover, and I got some baseball, and money, and... Okay. Food. Normally, they, you'd need... Uh, normally you need to be up all night to get lucky, but with this, you'll have better luck all night- all the time. Insert groan. Uh, a lot of dead people around here. Interesting. Excuse me, I want to open this chest. Money! It's mine now! Ow! That was almost the end of this. This might be a surprisingly long episode. <laughs> I usually play roguelikes until I die once, and I'm, uh, I'm alive. <laughs> I'm like floors in still. Yeah, boy, you leveled up. Select new trait. All syringes are identified. Followers gain extra health. Everybody you kill gets gibbed. Let's do the syringe thing, because it seems like it actually helps. The other ones seem kind of who cares? A little bit. This is a neato game so far. Oh, I made it to the zone two. I never make it to zone two on my first try in roguelike games, because I'm bad. Although I do play systematic games a bit more. This isn't really twitch reflexes of being attacked by everyone, it's me engaging with a bunch of systems. What does it say specifically? Oh, it's just a steel door. My objectives are... Neutralize the doctor and retrieve the briefcase. Makes you look like a big shot from the safe. I'm, just to, I'm supposed to kill that guy somehow. Is it a firefighter? Oh, uh, they're being chased off. I should visit the store. Maybe I can buy something nice. Get out of here, drug dealer. We do a little knife they use for drug dealing. Sword. A favorite of cosplayers and nerds. Also kills things. <laughs> Wrench. Ooh. You can use it to tamper with things that say that you can tamper with things. That's encouraging. I also need health, kind of, so... You and you. I'm the last dead now. Congratulations, me. Turns almost any item into food. Food that probably causes cancer, but that's beyond this, this game's scope. <laughs> okay. That's kind of great. 
You look like you're trying to break in or something. Are you trying to break in or something? You never saw a thing. Ooh, a ham sandwich. That's totally worth all the stuff I just spent to get in here. That was worth my last lockpick. One ham sandwich. Does sleeping in a bed do a thing? I'm kind of busy for that. But it could have made me not die. Now I'm going to die. A power box that is touching something. Shut down. Oh, he doesn't like that. Ow, ow, they murder you for that. Holy crap. Police, why? I think they're dead. Oh no, the firefighter. My nemesis. This might be the end of this. I don't have a lot of hopes right now. Uh, pachoom. Pachoom. Aha. Oh, that person seems not happy about that. Oh, what just happened? Wait, no, stop trying to punch me. I'm going to die. No, no, no. Time out. Time out. Well, there was reasons not to tamper with the power. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That was kind of a punctuating moment. So as per usual, if you want to check this game out, link in the description. This will probably be our, our one off as usual. This has been amusing. I would not put it outside the realm of possibility to eventually do a multiplayer thing of this just because there's, there's a few that does have co-op so this might come up again someday. So I have 11 chicken nuggets and so you can buy traits like each follower's health can be restored once per floor or chance to knock an enemy's weapon out of their hands when they're blocking stuff like that. Slave helmet remover. Safely remove explosive helmets from slaves' heads when interacting with them. These items will appear as rewards when you complete missions or when choosing a loadout. Oh, you're... Right, we're adding more rewards so that when you... Okay. So they, they, that means that uh, these could potentially be what you get for doing a mission. So you still, you don't get them all the time, you're just increasing the pool of rewards. So that when you do missions during a particular run, these become things that are in the deck of shuffled things, essentially. From weapons to special effects and so on. Interesting. Alright, well this has been Streets of Rogue. Thanks for watching like always, guys. And I'll see you next time.